Oh boy. I didn't think I'd have to dig into this place for a year till next September, but it's springtime. Well, it's March. And we found some geese. So, here we go again. What can I say? I'm addicted. You know it's gonna be a good day if you wake up on time on daylight savings time. Clocks went forward and I'm not late. <laughs> do I look tired? Do I, do I sound tired? Because if I don't, it's really a fluke. I got like three hours, four hours of sleep max. But we gotta drive an hour to meet the guys. It's, ah, it's not four o'clock, it's five o'clock. It's cornfield, a landowner called me, he's like, yo, Matthew, there's corn, there's uh, Canada geese in this cornfield. I'm like, yeah, how many? He tells me there's about a hundred. I'm like, what? I don't know where you're from, but I've never in my life seen a hundred Canada geese, giant Canada geese, in one field in the springtime. They're always just scattered. So I couldn't pass this opportunity up. We're gonna take part in the spring conservation Canada goose season. I mean, I don't get this feeling until September usually. This is awesome. It's March. We're gonna go try and shoot some Canada geese. And you're gonna come with us. Well, we have arrived at the cornfield, but the guys aren't here yet, so we're gonna hang out and uh, wait a few minutes. I better text these guys, see if they're awake, because that'd be awkward if they slept in because of daylight saving time. That. Yeah. To the southeast? Yeah, you're now to the northeast. So it might hit it a little bit. That should be good for mine. Yeah, I Kill him, kill him.
Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha <laughs> 